He knows how to win. And he knows how to win. And Mighty Mouse told me when he went to train with him, he said he was so impressed by how systematic he was and the, the game plan, his strategy, and how he, he, he puts everything together. Yeah. He said, I've never seen anybody that's so meticulous in their preparation. Wow! <laughs> Former Olympic gold winner and UFC two times champs named Triple C is gonna return soon on pay per view after three year layoff. And he'll be facing legit champ with two title defenses against former champs Aljamain, no honor, Oscar holder, Sterling, and how this fight really goes. Okay, man, a quick reminder before we start your subscription is vital for us, so hit that button, me or uppercut, unless you want Henry Cejudo to make us bend the knee. 33 years old Aljamain Stolen reached his prime after beating one arm, TJ not kilo show anymore and imagine how the time flies. Since 2021 Aljo's been undefeated and put in pound for pound list, while his former opponents who was named Aljo's biggest fear is on a three fight lose streak after Stolen exposed him. Wow. <sighs> Aljo was compared to another Sterling in terms of simulation. Wow! He was called clown, but Aljo proved them wrong and became not just real contender, but undisputed UFC champ. Defeated, undisputed, number one, let them know! And soon he'll be facing a real competitor. Stop, uh, not this one, but this one. Ah! Undisputed UFC Bantamweight! Of the one of the most uncertain fighters in the world. From one hand, we have an Olympic wrestler with high fighting IQ, unbending will to win, sharp striking, ground and pound, solid chin. But from the other hand, we have probably the cringiest athlete of all time. <laughs> Sehudo's being called the king of cringe not for a reason. He wanted to be Connor so much, but at the end of the day, we got. Win. Okay. Starting from the champ. Triple C! Okay, starting from Aljo. Aljo is so chaotic in a stand up fight that makes him very clumsy and uncomfortable for his opponents. He throws a hundred strikes in a second, a bunch of spinning shit. We're, we're throwing spinning shit now? Okay. Elbows, flying knees, and different stuff. And I show you some of his highlights. But Aljamain looked like a dominant champion. Yeah. He looked like he's coming into his own. I mean, he's the perfect bill for 35. Fucking Big boy. shredded. Shredded. But he does this stuff on purpose just to press you to the fence. And then... But not every single shot of him is successful. But if this guy takes you down at 35, you're done. And yes, his leg triangle is deadlier than the Bermuda one. But will it work against an Olympic wrestler? Sihudo is a wrestling hall of famer and former UFC two times champ, and he earned his shots before he became the most annoying fighter we have ever seen. Triple C. Sihudo's got fast hands, good control, and solid takedowns, but it was three years ago before he started coaching and doing some stuff. And remember, he's already 36 and fighting in a weight where everything depends on your reaction and speed. Or. Everyone knows what Alger's gonna do. And he's got that crucial reach advantage, but he actually doesn't know how to use it properly, unlike uh, leg advantage. Cause he ain't a boxer or even a kickboxer, and he's got pillow hands for sure, unlike Henry, who can also now got that old man power. So Alger's just funk and he can be caught easily, so I don't think he will use his stand up much there, uh, but he can fake some shit. Okay, Henry hasn't fought since May 2020, he's 36, but he's got very high IQ and now he probably grown that old man power as I told you before. And Sehudo knows what Alja's gonna do, he's got decent knees which is useful against Splinter, but what Triple C gonna do in that fight? I think he'll try to feel the cage at first, try to shorten the distance and fed up Alja with a bunch of uppercuts and says his wrestling, where Henry will have advantage for sure. But in terms of grappling, if Alja takes him down once, Henry will do and will hardly stand in this round and how the fight really goes. There is no underdog in this fight, it's 50-50, but I have a clear favorite in Sterling. 
he's active, reaches his peak and not that dumb anymore. Wow! <laughs> Actually, in terms of cardio, he's training with machine. So I would pick him, no doubt about it. Okay, I can really imagine I'll just not been able to take Sehudo down, but what else he can do? Okay, he will Charles backpack him, and as for me, he does it way better than even Oliver. Triple C can adapt for sure, but he hasn't fought against tough competitor for ages. Stern is definitely stronger and faster, and I think after meeting motivated McGregor. I'll just gonna finish this one inside three rounds and move up. Or... Okay, man, thanks for your attention. Right below, whom do you prefer? Who will win that fight? And the most important thing, you have to be subscribed unless you want Alex to identify you as his first opponent in 205. So, as I think, it's better to subscribe us. Hit that button. Hit that button, man. Yes. You haven't subscribed. I see it. I see stiffness. You haven't subscribed.